And as I'm halfway down the stairs, I see Jaden grab Patrick by his shirt collar, pick him up, and throw his body through someone else's door, causing the entire door to break off its hinges. And he's like, you think stealing shit is funny? Who gonna be paying for my hot pocket, son? For the majority of my life, I went to public school. Public school in New York. But when I was 13 and entering high school, my pop sent me off to a private boarding school. For a number of reasons I'll probably get into in later videos. But yeah, I lived at a private school for the majority of my high school career. And before you ask, no nigga, it was not like Zoe 101. Nor was it as exciting as Sweet Life on Deck. But it was an experience to say the least. A unique one with a lot of stories and memories. And one of my top 10 funniest stories from boarding school is when I instigated a fight that resulted in a nigga getting thrown through a door so let's get into that story now for those of you that are unfamiliar with the concept of a boarding school it's basically like living at your high school like pre-college i'd basically be waking up in the dorm eating breakfast going to class eating lunch going to more class going to sports on campus eating dinner then doing homework showering and other shit in my dorm during the nighttime that's typically how a normal day went so during my sophomore year at this school a problem of theft came about someone was stealing people's food in the dorm and it was incredibly tough because everyone who lived in my building shared one fridge and since we lived with about two floors of people equaling to maybe 20 30 niggas it could have been anybody but despite there being cameras and adult supervisors in the dorm the school staff didn't catch no one so for like close to a month whoever put their food in the fridge was asking to be a victim now since i lived on campus i had roommates three roommates but really only one of them is important for the story and my roommate name was Jaden, and he ended up being one of the closest friends i made at this school now Jaden, myself and countless other people who were living in our building were getting a crazy amount of food stolen from the fridge like they was on a rampage showing no remorse they was taking my beef patties my fruit my milk and also as you can tell from the title of this video this thief was also taking hot pockets Jaden's hot pockets now the school offered us breakfast lunch and dinner of course but you know what i'm saying you eventually want to eat and snack on something else later you know especially if you live at the school 24 7 and some of us me included didn't have a lot of money to spend Bro, like even though we went to a pwi and had a lot of wealthy classmates a good amount of us were not wealthy like them we were either there on scholarships or blessed enough to have hard-working parents or both like myself Bro, so if we spend in the little money we do have on our own food and that shit is getting stolen of course we gonna be beyond on tight now at first i and i think pretty much everyone else was thinking that it wasn't one person stealing everyone's food we were thinking it was a different person taking a different item each time like one person will come and steal my milk and another person will come and steal someone's yogurt or something but one day i realized that it may just be one nigga doing all the crime so one day i'm in class and the teacher partners me up with this kid named patrick now i had seen patrick around school and i knew he lived on campus but i ain't really talked to him like that you know what i'm saying so i'm working on this assignment with patrick and we just get to chopping it up you know and i ended up learning that he was born in russia and a bunch of other relevant ass facts about him that i don't remember but something important that i learned was that he was actually dorming in my building so we get to talking about something that pertained to dorming on campus i don't remember what specifically but mid convo he was like hey chris you know how everyone's getting their food stolen in our building oh uh yeah facts bro it's crazy yeah it is especially because it's me taking everyone's food nigga what what you mean you been taking everyone's food son is he trolling me or something so i feel like i now gotta play mind games with bro because i don't know if he's being for real with me or not and i don't know this nigga like that so i'm like oh really what uh what have you been taking bro you know the dumplings the beef patties sometimes milk for my cereal and um what do you americans call them hot patches hot pickets hot pockets yes yes the hot pockets mm whoever bought those really knew what they was doing oh shit he is dead ass he's really been taking niggas food he must have a death wish or something so after admitting to me that he's been stealing everything he said but just don't tell anyone okay i don't know what they do if they found out now i don't know if it was just because he had no social awareness or if he was just sherm but i don't think he realized that I was not his friend. So why the fuck would I keep this secret? He's been stealing from me, my mans, and basically my entire building. So I was like, nigga, uh, 
No. I'm about to tell everyone as soon as we all in the dorms later tonight. Like, you literally just confessed to me. And he's like, no, don't. I'll pay you. Bro, I ain't... Hmm? What you... <laughs> what you mean? If you don't tell anyone, I'll give you money. Tonight. She... Say no more. Now, realistically, I was going to tell my mans that he was stealing regardless, but I needed to get reimbursed for all the food that was took. And plus, I still had some doubts on whether or not he was actually for real. So this class with Patrick ended at like 1 p.m. or something. And I had lunch plus one more class right after. So the way school would work is 8 a.m. to 2.15 p.m. was school, 2.45 p.m. to 5 p.m. was sports practice, and 5.45 p.m. to 7 o'clock is dinner. So after I did that entire schedule that day, I was back in the dorm chilling, and Jaden came in the room and was like bro not gonna lie when's the next time we go into walmart because i dead need more hot pockets oh yeah bro i dead forgot patrick said he was the one who was taking the food from the fridge patrick the skinny white boy yeah facts bro he was telling me in class bro say word to your moms he's been taking it bro that's that's what he was telling me but yeah, don't sweat it, bro. He said he was about to give me bread, and I'm thinking this is the money he's going to use to reimburse us. So I'm going to just talk to him real quick. Wait here. All right, bro. Let me know what he says. I'm going to be here. So I go to his room, and I'm like, hey, bro. Oh, hey, Chris. You remember when you said you was going to give me money so I didn't tell people you stole? Could you give me the money now? Oh, yeah. I got you, bro. So I remember he ruffled through, like, some boxes looking for his money. And he eventually finds it, and he comes up to me with his wallet. And it's empty and then patrick's like yeah bro i was just joking around i didn't actually take the food uh -huh. bro what yeah bro i didn't actually hold on hold on hold on wait let's say hypothetically that was true right and you didn't take anything you knew each food item that was taken um well yeah that's because everyone around here talks and gossips so of course i knew did you really think i was stealing everything you silly goose you bro did he take it or did he not take it? I don't know what to believe right now. So now I'm all the way confused. I was so confused. I ain't even question why the nigga felt the need to call me a silly goose. Like Patrick has just been trolling me and wasting my time this entire day. And like I had no idea as of whether or not he was lying. And I was never the type to turn things violent. So at this point, whether or not he was stealing, I just mentally gave up on the situation. So I slide back to me and Jaden's room and I'm like, yeah, bro, he said he never took the food. Apparently, he was just joking the whole time. But he said he took the food earlier, though? Yeah, he listed the food that was took, too, which was hella weird. But did he say he took my Hot Pockets? Yeah, but I, I say that. I'm gonna have a little chat with him. Now, something I ain't tell y'all is that Jaden was from the hood. He wasn't a hood nigga. He was just a nigga that was from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm basically letting y'all know this because I think in me telling Jaden that Patrick was stealing the food, I accidentally activated this nigga's hood tendencies. Like, when I explained that Patrick was basically trolling the whole time, Jaden probably heard what I said, but he definitely interpreted it as, yo, that nigga Patrick took your food, bro, and he's bragging about it. And now he wants to play with us. He's basically calling the both of us putty. And he's probably gonna eat some more of your before he goes to bed and just laugh about it but at this age my situational awareness was at an all-time low so i wasn't even picking up on how Jaden was interpreting my words in fact when he said i'm gonna have a little chat with him that should have been my sign that he was possibly gonna take a rather hood-like approach to this situation but you know no situational awareness so now i'm chilling on my bed after Jaden went downstairs assuming they're having a rational adult-like conversation and then i hear Nah, right or wrong, you said he was taking our food. Like, what's up, bro? You think robbing niggas is funny? Wait, listen, it was it was, it was, was a joke. Yo, stop playing in my f***ing face, son. If I was to slap the shit out of you, I'd be wrong, right? What are you talking about? Wait, no, no, no. Bro, immediately, I rush out the room to see what's going on. And as I'm halfway down the stairs, I see Jaden grab Patrick by his shirt collar, pick him up, and throw his body through someone else's door, causing the entire door to break off his hinges. And he's like, you think stealing shit is funny? Who gonna be paying for my hot pocket, son? So me and our friend Tariq, who was in the room with the now broken door, rush in to pull him off Patrick. And Jaden's all like, nah, nah, it's all good. I'm not gonna hurt him. I just, I just wanna talk to him. Mind you, he's saying this after throwing the nigga through a door. So Jaden relaxes. And by now, the adult supervisors who were in our dorm came and we explained the whole situation to them. I do remember we ended up having to speak to the assistant head of school the next day. I don't remember what happened, but I don't think we were punished. But what I do remember is nobody was getting their food stolen after this situation yeah the thief could have been patrick or just someone who heard what happened to patrick who knows but patrick learned that day which brings us to the takeaway of the story and also what patrick learned you don't troll somebody while they're going through a crisis especially a nigga
Yo, what's good with y'all? My fault for taking so long with this video. A lot has happened from the time in between my last video and this video. And I'm sorry y'all had to suffer as a result. But did somebody call the chiropractor? Because I'm back, nigga. Stop playing. The consistency is here now. now. I know I used to say that a lot with my outros on the vids and then take dumb long with like the next video. But I'm not playing this time. With all that being said, next video is dropping soon. And I love each and every one of y'all. Peace.